Hi there, I'm Al Spidey's 20 and today we are doing another Zelda move set. I know, I know, very exciting, very exciting indeed. This character is a half clone of Young Link. Wait, this is a controversial decision? The most logical question is, why a half clone? Am I lazy? Do I want to die in a fire created by a bunch of making Zelda fans say and I misrepresented their favorite Zelda character? No. The reason she's a half clone is. I haven't slept in weeks. My boss, he really wants content. And this was the most logical compromise. The next question is what do I mean when I say half clone? For the purposes of this video, Saria will share the same tilts, jabs, aerials, and grabs as Young Link, meaning she will also wield the Kokiri Sword, the Deku Shield, and the Hookshot from Ocarina of Time. If this bothers you, keep in mind we have two Master Swords, three Falchions, and four Marios, already in Super Smash Bros. Please note, this joke does not reflect my view on these four characters. I do not think they are all for Mario. It's just a joke used for comedic purposes. If you're still upset about it, imagine that Saria got in on an alternate universe, where Young Link had his Majora's Mask loadout, instead of his Ocarina of Time loadout. Which should have happened in this universe! The neutral special is the Deku's Mask. Now, if you see my very first moveset video, God bless you if you have, you would know I already used this move for the Happy Mask Salesman. Shameless plug in the top right. This move, however, does not work like that one. Instead, this move uses the Snot Bubble mechanic. Snot Bubble? Seriously? Is that what it's called? Regardless of this move's terrible name, it works almost exactly like it does in Majora's Mask, where you hold the B button to charge up the bubble. The longer you hold it, the further it will travel. However, if you hold it for too long, it will blow up in your face. As a side note, you can move your head up and down to change the direction on which the bubble fires. The side special is the slingshot. It is a quick, medium range projectile, great for dealing damage from a distance. However, don't expect it to kill, because it's not really what it's made for. Wow, that was a really quick entry, I don't have anything else to say. Moving on to the up special, we have the Deku Leap, and it serves two functions. The first function is as a recovery, and to be honest, it's kind of a ripoff of Peach's up special, minus the ability to do damage. I don't really need to explain it to you because, well, there it is, right there. That's, that's it, right there. And, oh, look, there, she can go down too, that's spectacular. The second function of the Deku Leaf, however, is a bit more interesting. It shoots out a gust of wind right in front of Saria. This move does no damage, however, the knockback is spectacular, making it a great move to kill opponents who are trying to get back on the stage. And finally, we have the Down Special. Keeping with tradition, I have to make it unique and overly complicated because you know what? Screw my sanity. Look, I even made a chart for it. Isn't that fantastic? I know it is. This move is the Fairy Ocarina, and upon using it, you look like this. Minus the whole, you know, your Saria, not Link, because, you know, that's who you're playing as. Now I know what you're thinking, Alcibiades, you beautiful man. What am I supposed to do now? Well, you could hit the shield button or the grab button and that will cancel the attack completely. However, if you hit the down B button, you probably meant to do that and you expect it to do something. To activate it, you need to move the control stick three times in any direction or the C stick three times in any direction and or hit the A button or B button three times and this will create a ring of aura around you that does mild damage and a bit of knockback. This is where things get interesting. 
If you have a vast knowledge of Ocarina songs like I do, you're in luck, because playing different songs will net you different effects. For example, if you play the first three notes of Serious song, the range and damage of the attack will increase. There is a whole host of songs and effects those songs have, and quite frankly, I don't feel like listing them all out. So here's that chart I mentioned. Isn't it fantastic? Are you done reading now? Good, because there are a few things I want to go over. First, Zelda's Lullaby in the Song of Time can only be used once per stock. This is to keep the game balanced. If you try to use them twice in one stock, it will have the same effect as playing a random song. And finally, I want to talk about the Sun Song. As you can see, it creates a ring of fire that does extra damage to those who use dark moves. Dark moves are like Ganondorf's Warlock Punch or Mewtwo's Shadow Ball. This also applies to somebody like Robin, who only has one dark move, but a dark move nonetheless. And it also applies to Kirby, but only if he wears a hat that shoots out the dark move. For the smash attacks, unlumping the down smash and the side smash together, as they both relate to the Deku stick and hold very similar mechanics. The down smash is actually what we're starting with, which is kind of strange for me, and it feels wrong. This move is a simple swing of the stick. It has a long range and is quite strong. However, if you miss the attack, it'll leave you quite vulnerable. The side smash is a bit more interesting. Saria will swing the stick in the spinning motion as a homage to Deku Link. While swinging, she will move forward or backwards depending on which way you move your smash attack. However, we're not done with this move just yet, and there's a hidden mechanic involved with the Deku Stick. If you hit a fire-based and or explosive-based projectile with the Deku Stick, it will absorb the attack and catch fire. This fire stick will do extra fire damage, along with the base damage, for about three uses. However, if you hit a fire-based or explosive-based projectile with the stick while the stick is already on fire, the stick will break, and it'll take a few seconds to get a new one. And finally, for the smash attacks, we have the up smash, which is the Deku Sapling. This move works like Isabelle's up smash, well, if Isabelle's out smash actually worked. <laughs> this chunky little sapling comes from the ground and pushes your opponents upward, not doing a lot of knockback. However, it's great for getting your opponents in the air. And if you play Young Link, you know that's exactly where you want your opponents to be. For her side taunt, we have her playing a jaunty little tune on her ocarina while dancing around. Her up taunt is a prayer leading into her outstretched hands facing upwards. And finally, her down taunt, which is her concept art hand on her hips pose. Lastly, we have her alts, and the obvious thing to do here is to give her alts based off of the seven sages. However, that leaves one more alt. So, what should I put here? Um, uh, skull Kid's pretty cool. Yeah, here's a Skull Kid alt. For her final smash, a burst of light will appear from Zarya. If you are caught in this burst of light, you are sent to the sacred realm, where she and all the other sages will steal you away for eternity. Man, there's a lot of ceiling in these Zelda-based movesets. Oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, shameless plug, top right. Well, that about wraps up this video. If you liked it, Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Also, let me know what you think of this mini moveset concept. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you think I'm cheaping out? Personally, I think I'm a huge sellout. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to find a suitable place to hide, because if my overlord finds out I'm cheaping out on my work, he will kill me. Literally. 
Bye.